All right. So it says that the perimeter of a rectangle is 42 inches. What did I say about the word is? Equals, right? So something equals 42. The perimeter of the rectangle equals 42. That's going to help us solve this problem. Here comes the question. If the width of the rectangle is 6 inches. Now before I finish the rest of this, well it's going to well let's just finish it. What is the length? There's some good information in there. What's the width of this thing? Six inches. He came right out and told us that. What's the length? We don't know. Hello, this is Mr. Adams. Yeah, for fifth hour. Yeah, just go over a few of the, you know, go go over a couple of the problems. Yeah. No, those are no, those are released ones for practice. Yep. Uh -huh, bye. Um, so we we don't know what the length is. In fact, we're asked what. Whenever you see the word what, you got to think I don't know what it is, so it's a variable. So we really don't know what it is. But let's draw the picture. We have a rectangle, a perfectly drawn rectangle, and it has a length and it has a width. And I know that the width is 6. And I also know that this width is equal to this width and this length to this length. And we're told that the perimeter, by the way, how do I find the perimeter? 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. But I'm also told that the perimeter is 42. So P is 42. I'm going to start plugging some numbers in. P is 42. That's equal to 2 times L. I don't know what L is, so I leave it in there. Plus 2 times W, but I know that W is 6. I got a bunch of numbers and one variable L. All right. Next line. 42 is equal to 2L. 2 times 6 is 12. There's my equation. Let's solve. I'm going to use the subtraction property of any or of equality. I keep saying inequality for some stupid reason today. So these cancel. I get 30 is equal to 2L. Divide both sides by 2. I get 15 is equal to L. What does that mean? The length of this is 15 inches. Okay.